Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. 3 over square root of x equals 2 minus square root of x. How do we deal with this? The first thing we have to do is to get the LCM. We believe that this is over 1 and this is over 1. Now the LCM is equal to square root of x. Okay, so to clear out the fractions, we multiply everything by the LCM. So we have square root of x multiplied by 3 over square root of x equals square root of x multiplied by 2 minus square root of x multiply by square root of x okay so from here this will go with this now we have 3 to be equal to square root of x times 2 that will give us 2 square root of x then minus square root of x times square root of x will give us x. So from here now, what do we do? I want to make this um the subject. So we have 3 plus x to be equal to 2 square root of x. This is 2 square root of x and not just square root of x, right? So what do we do in this case? We want to make x the subject. As we divide both, we want to make root x the subject. As we divide both sides by 2, this is going with that. Now we have the value of x. Okay, root x rather. So root x will now be 3 plus x over 2. And then to get x on the left, I would have to square this, then the whole of this will be squared. And this means that x is here and it's equal to 3 plus x over 2 multiplied by 3 plus x over 2. So let's open this bracket. So that x will be equal to 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times x, that will give us plus 3x. Then x times 3, that will give us plus 3x. Then x times x will give us x squared. Then the whole of this is over 4. That is 2 times 2. What do we do? Cross multiply so that we have 4x, which will be equal to 9 plus 3x plus 3x is 6x then plus x squared now we have a quadratic equation let us arrange this in a better way beginning with the one with the highest power x squared this is plus 6x this becomes minus 4x then we have plus 9 now everything is on the left, so we have 0 on the right. x squared plus 2x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now we will solve this by using the formula. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay by the way this is the formula for solving quadratic equation it is called quadratic general formula okay so once you have this formula the next thing is to get the value of your a b c a is the coefficient of x squared that is 1 b is the coefficient of x that is 2 and then our c is a constant and it is 9. 
So we put this into the formula. This is the formula. So let's put in our ABC. X will now be equal to minus B becomes minus 2 plus or minus B squared becomes 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times A is 1 then times C and it's 9. Right? Then we divide this by 2 times 1. Now X from here is minus 2 plus or minus then square of 2 is 4 4 times 1 times 9 is 36 then we divide this by 2 to continue with this we have to subtract both of them are perfect squares but you will be wrong if you find the um, square root of 4 then you find the square root of 36 and you subtract that will be a wrong step so our x is minus 2 plus or minus 30, okay, 4 minus 36 is negative 32. Then we divide by 2. x is minus 2 plus or minus, this is square root of 30, negative 32. We can decide to split so that the negative will come out, negative 1. Then we divide by 2. This way we can find the square root of 32. Now x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. This 32 here is also 16 times 2. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. All of this is divided by 2, right? Okay. Now x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus now we have square root of 16 which is okay i need to, okay i've done that right let's take that same step then multiply by square root of negative one is i it's imaginary so we write i then we divide all through by two x is now minus two plus or minus square root of 16 is four then we have root two multiply by i then we divide by 2 to continue from here our x is minus 2 plus or minus we have 4 times i that's for i then we have root 2 and then we divide by 2 but mind you 2 can go into this and the same 2 can go there so x will be 2 into minus 2 is minus 1 plus or minus then we have 2 into 4i that would be 2i then we have root 2 therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus 2i root 2 or minus 1 minus 2i root 2 although the solution here are complex solutions. Thank you for watching.